I just can't wait to meet you and see what you're like. I hope you end up with your mother's dashing good looks. You'll probably end up looking like your father, with his big nose and dull brown eyes. Too bad there's no lifeguard in the gene pool. <laughs> well, I guess I'll love you anyway. Tired of not having control over every aspect of your baby's life? Leaving the odds of its genes to fate? There is a solution for every parent who is not fully satisfied with its baby. Designer babies! What? You've heard about the form of divergent evolution, called artificial selection, where specific traits are bred for. You mean like aggression and strength and Rottweilers? And like squished faces of pugs? Exactly! This principle can now be applied to humans too, except that you don't need to wait generations for the traits to be passed down to your offspring. You don't even have to have the trait yourself. Just listen to our expert, Dr. Eleanor S. Finkelstein. Designer babies are babies whose DNA has been artificially selected by being genetically edited through a process called germline engineering. What's germline engineering anyway? Since the completion of the Human Genome Project, we now know what genes control what traits in offspring. Now, thanks to CRISPR gene editing, we now know how to edit these genes. This process comes from a bacteria defense against bacterial phages, so when a virus enters a bacterium, it sends guide RNA that matches the DNA of the virus to destroy it. An enzyme called Cas9 snips out that part of the virus's DNA and inserts a new, less harmful segment of DNA. Scientists have discovered they can modify RNA to find any sequence of DNA, even in humans, and insert a new, healthy, modified DNA. This gene editing is used to modify egg and sperm cells from parents and is then fertilized in a petri dish through a process called in vitro fertilization to form new life. Does this actually work? It sounds like there should be some crazy side effects when you're tampering with such delicate processes. Well, yeah, but that's why we fertilize 10 to 20 eggs, so we have extras. Because the parents are choosing such specific traits, sometimes the DNA contradicts itself and doesn't work out, resulting in inviable offspring. Some babies get so messed up, we have no choice but to dispose of them but only the best ones will be delivered to your front door. You mean my uterus? Same diff. So why go through all this trouble anyway? It sounds expensive. What can you even control? The sky is the limit. Doctor, give us some insight. A lot of people worry about their child's health later in life. One of the most common requests is to eliminate disease carrying genes, such as the ones that carry ovarian cancer or breast cancer, or trisomy 21. Well, I guess if you're just looking out for your child's best interests. Oh no, it goes way further than that. Appearance is a very popular area of interest for designer babies. Almost any trait can be controlled, from weight, height, eye color, hair color, the list goes on. And don't forget about athletic ability and intelligence. Don't you want to be the mother of the next Usain Bolt or Albert Einstein? We can guarantee that. Some restrictions may apply. Isn't that right, doctor? Yes, we can control just about anything, even your child's gender. How? It's a simple process of choosing the X chromosome from the mother and the Y chromosome from the father. In fact, it's one of the simplest processes to ensure the desired gender. Wow, this all seems pretty extreme. It seems sort of strange that you can control almost every aspect of your child's life. Oh, and you can't forget about personality. Yes, genes control every aspect of you, aside from nature. And the estimated price is only around $66,000. Wait, there's more. If you call now, you can get one designer baby from three parents. This way, you can get your DNA, your husband's DNA, and the mitochondrial DNA from the parent of your choice. Why would I want that anyway? If you have a family history of mitochondrial diseases, such as muscular dystrophy or heart and liver conditions, you can avoid passing these on to your children by taking the mitochondrial DNA of a third party. So this isn't the actual process, but our Design Baby 2000 gives you a visual representation. 
Well, that just seems unnatural. Besides, wouldn't everyone just choose the most desired trait? Then everyone would be the same, and there'd be no such thing as individuality. I know! Isn't it great? Everyone will have a better chance of succeeding in life! Just think of all the benefits. A designer baby is expected to live up to 30 years longer than the average human. So you choose your trait, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and voila! Ugh. How can you be sure this doesn't happen? Because this technology is so new, it's still in its experimental stage. A recent study using monkeys showed that only 20 to 40 percent of the genetically modified offspring actually turned out the way they were supposed to. But that isn't fair. The baby doesn't get to give consent. Well, parents already control the baby's education, religion, and general lifestyle. Genes are just another part they get to control. But would the parents even want this anyway? I mean, would they even feel like it's their child? Doesn't it seem like it's some kind of robot whose genes have been chosen like toppings on a Subway sandwich? This is just the next step to evolution. It's basically the ultimate form of survival of the fittest. So, if you want to design your baby, call the number on the screen. The ultimate child could be yours. Some restrictions may apply. So don't delay. Call today. Give your children the chance of perfection that you were deprived of. I wonder if you'll have your mother's dashing good looks. You'll probably end up with your father. Uh. <laughs> there is a solution for every parent. <laughs> <laughs> Our babies whose genetic makeup has been artificially selected by a genetically engineered. Uh, blah, blah. completion of the human G <laughs> you have a history of mitochondrial diseases such as forget them <laughs> with your dad and his sense of intelligence and history <laughs> <laughs> that's not <really> good <laughs> well yeah. I'm pretty sure we have a problem what um